Let me give you a few tips about using uh, a jig like this for cutting dovetails. I mean, I've cut a lot of dovetails for drawers, made in lots of drawers. And what I found is, first of all, I always make, you'll see when I do it, when I did it, I always make my first cut as a climb routing across the face of the piece of wood. That is to put an initial cut in the face so that when the dovetail cutter goes in it doesn't chip out the face of the board. Um, I've added, I always add a piece of like half inch pine screwed to the, the clamp because that also helps keep the board from chipping. Sometimes you'll go in with, you'll go in with, with the, with the uh, router and it'll catch a piece of grain and it'll tear the front of the board off and that's the inside of your drawer. The sides of the drawer are always vertical and the front and back is always horizontal. And the other thing I've done here is I've added an air line that is connected to a regulator and a valve, so I can turn it on and off. And what that does is it blows the chips away. Every time you take a board out, it blows the chips away so that you don't have to be bothered with chips getting stuck between the, between the two boards. Okay, next I gotta sand all the insides of the drawers before I put them to, I have to, first I have to cut the dado for the bottom which I'm going to do on the table saw and then I'm going to sand them all and then we'll get back to you
All right, I'm going to sand them. This uh, is um, carpet underlayment. Uh, it's actually the cheap stuff. <laughs> and when people throw it away, I go and take it. It is great to sand on. It takes away the vibration and it holds the work in place. So if you ever see any of this on the side of the road, somebody throwing it out, pick yourself up a piece. And I'm going to sand the insides of all the drawers before I put them together. together I'll do one for you and show you how I do it um, I have put glue in the sockets only not on the tongue on the uh, dovetails Pushes your sides out, the bottom's too big. And what I do, but you don't see it anyway, it's either in the back of the drawer. Oh. You can see it. It's either in the back of the drawer or behind the drawer head. I put two one-inch staples in to lock, lock the joint. It'll never come apart. It's quarter by one-inch staples. thing I do is I check the draw for squareness by measuring the diagonals on the bottom. 22, 22, the draw is square, and I hot glue the bottom in. It's not so important on a small drawer, but when you get drawers that are 32, 36 inches, it adds support to the front. And that's it. Once the glue dries, I'm going to profile the top and these do some sanding and these will be ready for finishing. And all the all the drawers <laughs> have been assembled. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to hit this with a sander, make the joints look perfect, because um, these drawers are going to be uh, clear lacquer, and I want them to, uh, you know, look like a beautiful joint. 
So I don't know if you've ever seen these. How I, I'll show you how I hold them when I sand. These are a, this is a pair of dogs for you know a workbench that has dog cuts in it. Uh, I bought these a long time ago and I don't remember where I got them and I don't even know if they're made anymore but here's how they work. Um, they go into the dog slots just like that and now you can clamp something that goes down to the floor. See that? There you go. Okay, so when you open up your end vise, it comes out, put it in, tighten it up. There you go. If you can find them. I recommend them. I'm just going to hit these two ends, flip it over, do it again. The inside of the drawers have already been sanded, so is the, uh, the two, the front and the back. <laughs> kind of like the course of the plywood, you know? It has a lot of, I think it adds interest to it. Okay, let me do the rest of the drawers, and then we'll profile them. All right, now I'm, I'm profiling the, the edges. I'm putting a half round on them. So, I'm going to use a router with a 3 8 inch half round bit. This is half inch stuff. Seems to work pretty well. I'm going to uh, do all three edges with a bull nose, but the front edge where the draw, go, draw front goes, I'm not going to profile the outside edge.
go.